Welcome to Real Hard. Doing a little picture video here. My name is Corey Dees, the creator of Phantom Comics and Go Figure and many others on Tabastic. This video is a slightly kind of picture video as well as a reveal beginning works video. This is Monkey C, Dispatch Key Security. Basically set into a dystopia or utopia future where mankind is no longer on Earth, they've colonized other worlds. This is one of the other colonies deep into the future. It's exploring the question mark of crime, punishment, culture, economics, virtually everything that revolves around the criminal system and rehabilitation. It's set in the future where, where it kind of takes the concept that was once feared back in the 80s where cameras were everywhere fear or machines taking over everything fear or the disconnect of humanity from humanity. Our story begins of course starting off with a crime. Two guys hijack someone and hopes to sell her for money. Of course they get caught and now we get to see our first agent. Operator blah blah blah. Now the story continues on where you see our hero is not really a hero. He's actually a, cr a, a criminal who's being rehabilitated and now has to work off to pay for the crime he has committed. It was taking off the idea that a lot of jails could be removed if you could find a way to employ half the people that were in jail who most likely the first beginning ones did their crimes because they had no money or they were misguided. If you can restore that guidance and show them a better way they may never ever commit a crime again. Meaning there will be no jail cells, which is how this future is. There is no jail cells. There is no place except for in society. So these people, of course, this the colony is humongous. The criminals can be anywhere away from the family. And there's no way that this criminal is ever gonna come near the family that they that he has harmed. Of course, I get to show how or what his crime was. In this story, the dark side of this, one of the dark side of the story is that they're always being tempted. The criminals are always being tempted to do the crimes they'd committed before. So you get to see what kind of crime he might have committed. I want to remake this book in an anime style and take it to an, a deeper story level. Our second criminal who's being rehabilitated kills for fun, mostly men. She meets another criminal, part of her reward or test, is a woman who killed her family for another woman. And there's always cameras watching, always watching and seeing and recording. And they're always testing and tempting all the characters. Now in this future there's chips there inside everybody's head. Well, everybody who's a criminal. They can control or manip manipulate their emotions. So the question is, is the person behind the camera doing more harm than good? Is the person who's supposed to be helping the rehabilitation doing more evil than the person who did the evil? And 
is crime being controlled or made to happen? The idea is that every character in here, well, almost every character in here who is the main character are known as Loss, L-O-S, Life of Servitude People. Basically like a person who goes to jail, instead of them going to jail, they have a chip put in their heads to control, monitor, and know where they are. But very few people know the darker side of the entire criminal system is that in the end, half the criminals end up being organ donors, or better known as meat on a stick. Now, of course, this book is not that good, but it's one of the first few books I've made, and I'm not afraid to show it because I think more people need to just stop being afraid of making a bad and terrible book and just go out there and make a bad and terrible book. Meat on a stick. So the story goes is like how many criminals are in the world and how many people are not criminals. And now sometimes it seems like you have to be a criminal in order to get a job. You have to have some kind of criminal record, drug addiction, something bad in order to get a job. And that's where this old book of mine was going. I want to remake this book, but at the present time I don't have quite the style I want. Possibly be $20 per page for an artist, maybe more. A writer would be great, or an editor, which I'm sure I have to pay $100 for that, which is fine, or hopefully not more. But I'm putting this out here to see if anybody has a desire to do a book like this. Now, currently, I don't have the funds to pay you, but hopefully, this will be on a Kickstarter and payment will come in on that. So I can't take up anybody or even take up any offers until I have the funds to really do this. And that's how it should be. You shouldn't be asking people to do a book that you can't pay them to do it. But that's the end of this video and thank you for watching this picture video and hopefully I have started a bad or rough comic book pitch concept video challenge thing. This is where I art and that's it for me.